Mani Rahim, Assalamu alaikum, dear students of class 8 and 9th. I welcome you in my lecture number 6 of unit number 3. Dear students, we are doing exercises of unit number 3. So today open your books on page number 31 and see the exercises of grammar. On this page 31 you can see heading of grammar and then you can see subheading of article and verbs. There are two exercises on this page, exercise A and exercise B. Exercise A belongs to article and exercise B belongs to the use, uh, the use of verb. In exercise A, you have to complete these blanks with articles. There are five points, one, two, three, four, and five, and then some blanks are there in these lines. And you have to put articles according to this question. The question is, fill in the article a, uh, an, or the, where necessary. Insert cross where no article is used. Dear students, we will do this exercise, but before that, I will teach you what an article is. What are articles in English grammar and how and where they are used. Okay, now see the definition of articles, what they are. Unit number three, grammar and the exercise and the topic is articles. See the definition. Articles are words that define a noun as specific or unspecific. Articles are words that define a noun as specific or unspecific. For example, see these examples, dear students. Number one example is, it is a bag. Example number two is, he ate an apple. And third example is, please return me the book that I gave you. In these three examples, you can see a, an, and the, they are highlighted because they are called articles in English grammar. A, an, the, they are articles and there are three articles in English grammar. See your next point. There are three articles in English grammar. There are three articles in English grammar and they are a, an, the. There are three articles, a uh, and the. These articles have their particular names. For example, now see your next point. Article a uh, and an. They are called indefinite articles. A uh, and they are called indefinite articles. Now what is the definition of indefinite articles? These two articles are used before a non-specific noun or noun phrase like when we talk about uh, generally about a noun generally we use article a or an for example you can see here it is a bag it is a bag we are not talking about a particular bag it is a bag here i have put an article and this a is an indefinite article he ate an apple he ate an apple we are talking about a, a, gen, a common apple we are not specifying this noun here this noun this noun these two nouns are not specified so before them i have used a and an now see your next Next article is the, and this is called definite article. The is called definite article. This article is used before a specific noun or noun phrase. For example, unlike indefinite articles, this is definite article because it is used before a specific noun. Kindly return me the book that I gave you. Kindly return me the book that I gave you. Here you can see I have used the before the book because this book is not a common general book. I am talking about a particular book which I gave. Okay. Kindly return me the book. Here I am not talking about a general book that any book around me. But I am particularly talking about a book which I gave you. So here I will not use a book. Rather I will use article the and the is called definite article similarly second example i saw the moon at night i saw the moon at night here moon is a noun and this noun is 
of unique quality this is a unique object so before unique and specific object we use the i saw the moon at night i saw a moon at night if i use a then it means that there are many moons in at uh, can be seen at night i'm talking about a particular object and that is moon that's why i put article the before this uh, this object and this object because these two nouns are here specific here i'm talking about specific nouns so before specific nouns i used definite articles and that definite article is the okay dear students now see sounds vowel sound and consonant sound and there you can see alphabets from a to z dear students in english we have alphabets 26 alphabets in english grammar from a to z and in this a to z series you can see i have i have highlighted a a e i o u with my green highlighter and remaining i have highlighted with my orange highlighter because a a this is a e i o u they are called vowel alphabets and remaining from b to z they are called consonant alphabets these five produce uh, th these five produce vowel sound and these remaining 21 articles from b uh, sorry uh, alphabets from b to z they produce consonant sound and according to the sounds we use article a and the we are now proceeding towards the use of article so before the use of article you must know that which alphabets are producing vowel sounds and which um, alphabets are producing consonant sounds five vowels like this this is producing the sound of a this is a this is i this is o this is u and in further detail i will show you that these two alphabets uh, sometimes produce double sound like once they produce vowel sound and in other case they can they produce consonant sound now see the example here these are five alphabets which produce vowel sound a e i o u and they are called vowel they are producing vowel sounds now here you see o when we write a word orange we produce uh, the sound of o here and this o sound is vowel sound but when we use o in this word we produce this o as v one so here o is producing vowel sound and here o is producing consonant sound and when we use this word here in a phrase we can say a one rupee note we will not put and one rupee note like i'm further telling you the use of a, a and a a and n a is used with article a is used with consonant sounds like these uh, alphabets which are highlighted with orange and n is used before these highlighted uh, with green highlighter like vowel sounds with vowel sounds we use n and with consonant sound we use a and here in case of o when o is producing its own sound like o orange that is vowel sound we use n we will say n orange but here when it is producing the sound of v v we produce uh, we pronounce that word as one here this is not a vowel sound this is a consonant sound so before that we will not put n we will put a similarly in case of u u also produces double sound it is sometimes producing the sound of a uh, or uh, for example umbrella here this is vowel sound a uh, umbrella so when we will put article we will put article and before that word umbrella and umbrella but when we are writing and using that alphabet u in this word university here this is not produ producing the sound of it is not producing vowel sound rather it is producing its own sound and that its own sound is consonant sound 
you you is not a vowel sound this is consonant sound so before university we will put article a okay dear students now how these article a and and the are used inshallah i will teach you in my further lecture uh, i hope that you have understood uh, between the uh, you have understood the difference between vowel sound and consonant sound okay thank you very much stay blessed